Hey everyone, welcome back. So let's quickly go ahead and write the registration script and automate the registration script with Cypress. Okay. Now this is the app that we are using for test automation. This is a sample banking app from Parasoft and that is what we are going to use. So in order to write a new script, let's go back here. Okay. And I'll create a new file and I'll say registration.cy.js and I'll write all registration code within that particular file. Okay, what I'll do is I'll simply go ahead and I'll make a copy of it. Okay, and paste. So I've pasted it here. Let me rename this particular file and I'll say cy.js and then change the name to registration. Okay, now in the registration, what we'll do is we know that we, is, we are using Mocha. So basically Cypress bakes in Mocha uh, test library, right? So which comes with all of these keywords to describe in it and we'll understand more details about it. But then this is basically where we are going to write our test steps, right? So it is what one of the test is and will be within it block will be writing all the Cypress commands to launch the app to type in the whatever details are required, right? So I'll simply say, okay, this is basically the test, which is with registration. Okay, so registration functionality. Okay, and then I'll say the test is register new user. Okay, now this is the page where we have to navigate, right? And the next thing is, instead of typing in the username and password, we first have to get the registered user detail, right? So we'll simply save it. Okay, and if we go to the app here, all right. So the first thing is we have to click on this register link in order to open the registration page wherein we can put all the details and click on this register button. So let's quickly go ahead and click on this register button. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go here and in order to inspect what the CSS selector for this particular register button will be, I'll simply right click, click on inspect and then we can go ahead and write the CSS selector for it. Okay. Or simply I'll go ahead and right click and copy the selector. If I simply say copy selector, that will copy the CSS selector for this particular button. Okay. And if I say control F, all right, and paste it and hit enter, you will see that that particular locator is highlighted or that particular web element is highlighted. Okay. Now I can go ahead and write the selector myself with the strategies that I have shown in the path. As of now, the idea is to write or complete this registration script. So I'll keep whatever is available here or simply rely on the selectors hub. Okay. So I'll open selectors hub as well. And then because selectors hub will give me a better locators as compared to what you will get directly from the browser. Okay. Just by right clicking and copying the locator. The other option that you need to be aware of within Cypress is the playground. Okay. So Cypress locator play playground. If you see that this particular app, the Cypress app, wherein we have launched this particular app, right? You can see this particular icon. I can simply click on this and then you just hover over any of the web element that you want to locate, right? So if I want to click on this register link here, I'll simply click on it and you'll see I'll get the whole command with cy.get the whole command available here, which I can simply go ahead and copy and use it in my script as well, right? So this is also very important or very good functionality provided out of the box. But then don't rely blindly on these locators. If you can find a better locator or you can write your own a more robust locator, you should avoid using these sort of locators. Okay. As of now, I'll simply go ahead and copy and let me use it here in my script. Okay. So I, I'll go to this particular locator and then we have to, what we have to do is we have to dot, we'll say dot and then click on it, right? So there should be some method click in Cypress and you'll see that I started typing in click and you'll see that I'm getting this particular method click, which will click on this particular register button. Okay. So I have used that now the, as soon as this click will happen, let me move this here. As soon as this click will happen, what will happen? This page will reload or basically if I simply go ahead and save it or let me go back because this particular test was a different test. So what I'll do is I'll save this registration. Okay. And from the app, if I start this execution in the Chrome browser again, I should be able to see the registration test as well being identified here in the E2E folder. You'll see the registration is also available here. I'll go ahead and click it and it will go ahead, open the page and now it should be able to register, click on the registration button. Okay. You'll see that it has clicked on the registration button, right? 
and now we are on the registration page here. You'll see that this is signing up page and now we have to provide all the details here and click on the register button to create our user. Okay. So what all fields we have first name, last name, address, city, etc. So we'll put some dummy values in here and the username and password that we can remember and then click on register. Okay. So I'll go ahead and create the details here. Okay. And in the script, what I'll do is prior to that, let me identify. Okay. Let me identify those locators from, you can do it from here or to make things quick, I'll do directly from the playground. Okay. Selectors playground within Cypress. So I'll click on this and simply click on this first name. We'll get that. Okay. Paste it here in our script. Okay. Similarly for the last name, I'll copy and paste it here. Okay. Then we have the address we'll copy it and we'll have it in us and let me finish this for all of these. Okay. So I have got all the values here. So now what next, the next thing we have to do is we have to basically pass in the values here, right? So to register, we have to put first name, last name, address, city, etc. So let me put some dummy text there. Okay. And in order to put or type something, we have the method type, right? So we'll say type and then put some string. So first name I'll put our CV. Okay. And then similarly, I'll just quickly copy it here in all the methods because it's all text boxes here until the phone number, SSN, username and password and a repeat password. Okay. And then we have forgot to identify one more element, which is basically clicking on the register. Okay. So I'll simply click on this register as well copy it and then paste at last okay and then on this button i have to simply click right once all the values are being entered then i have to click on register okay so last name i'll say it's academy all right and the address is say okay put some dummy number there doesn't matter username i'll simply put as rcv test the password okay so i have put in all the details there right so now my script is ready and now if I go ahead and see this playground here, okay, so let me disable this as soon as I'll save the script. This is the good feature of Cypress that automatically it will go ahead and start executing from wherever you have left, right? So I have added more steps here and I'll go ahead and save it and you will see that execution will start automatically. Okay, so I'll say control S and you'll see that automatically the execution has started. Okay. And you'll see that it, it will go ahead and so there is some issue here what it was okay get customer okay so it's not able to find this customer let me see why it was not able to find customer first name and this is the locator issue guys so that's fine it has it has been able to click on this click button or or the register button but then here on the first name it is not able to get this locator Okay, so we might have to get or we might have to get a different strategy. Now, this is basically directly copied from where from the select from the playground, right? Cypress playground. So ideally, it should not be having a problem. But you can see that these are the issues that you might go ahead and face in case you simply go ahead and copy these locators. Okay, so let's see why these locators are failing. So most probably we might have to change it. Okay and then write the CSS selectors ourselves for these locators so we can basically type in the values here. Okay. So these kind of errors are common and that's why you have to basically write the robust locators and what we'll do, we'll simply go ahead and let's inspect and write our own locators. Okay. Let me open this hub here. If you see the locator, the relative locator that has been identified by selectors hub is also fine. We can use it, right? Because pretty lengthy uh, there would be a better way okay so let me show you uh, the better way to identify the locators here okay so this is kind of not recommended i won't recommend using this lengthy locator here okay so let's quickly go ahead and write so we know that there is a tag input okay and then id or name we can use okay so let's use the tag all right so i'll say okay input and then in the square bracket i'll use the id okay so let me put the single quotes there an id and we'll use the id as the customer dot name okay and this code to be removed i'll hit enter and you'll see that there is a element matching okay so let me quickly change all the locators with this strategy okay i'll use the id there in all of those okay so i'll replace this and now because i have used single quotes inside so i'll use double quotes right so you'll see that there is a single quote here with the id customer dot first name right so i'll use double quotes in that okay and i think there will be some there will be id for last name address etc everything 
So let's quickly check and replace these. Okay, so let's check the last name. Go to the last name. Yeah, it has the ID customer dot last name. If I go to the address, all of them have those IDs, right? Where in the where we have this dot. Okay, so I think we can straight away replace all of them or change all of the locators with the strategy that we have done for the first one, right? You'll see customer dot phone number, customer dot SSN, all of those IDs are present, right? And then for the username customer dot username and then customer dot password and the last one is customer dot repeat password basically the repeat password id is repeat okay so let's quickly change it and what i'll do here is i'll simply copy the same thing all right or i'll copy the whole locator and then we'll keep replace okay this is different because there is a repeat password okay and that's the id so it has just taken hash hash represents the id in css selector and the repeated password right so this should be now here let me quickly make more changes so basically now i have to replace this with customer dot last name right so this is last name okay so customer dot last name okay that was the id for this particular input tag and i'll remove the whole thing here i've just kept it so that i can basically copy it and paste okay and we have to remove these backslash now because we are using single quotes within okay so that should be fine this dot city this is username i'll simply type it in this is password okay. and let me remove all of these and remove the backslash wherever they are present so all our locators get okay so it looks like all of the locators are now using the id and that id is in the single quotes because there is a dot in between right so and then outside we have used double quotes so there is no conflict at all right so username password and this is repeat password and then we are clicking on the register button okay so let me open this screen again okay and i'll straight away save it and you will see the execution restart okay you'll see that now it is basically going ahead typing in up to melbourne and then there was some issue with the state okay let's quickly see so it's definitely the You'll see that it has, it's just STAT, right? It missed E, I believe. Okay. So let me put E and then start it. So I've saved and started. Yeah. And registration has been successful. You'll see that the account has been created successfully, right? Now I will use the same, I'll say no thanks here. Okay. This is manual as of now, but then you'll see the whole script has passed here. Okay. All the steps and then the account was created. Now, another very important thing is that in the left hand side, you will see that we can time travel and right. And I have discussed about time travel in Cypress that you can go to each and every step. All right. So, for example, if I go to this click, you'll see that where exactly it is clicking this highlight. You see this red icon there. If I click on somewhere else, for example, let's say type. Right. So you'll see that this little icon, the red icon is highlighting in this particular first text box. And you see this before and after, right? This is basically the unique feature that Cypress provides, wherein you can see how the layout looked or how the text box looked before and then what happened afterwards, right? You'll see that after the screenshot has been taken, wherein the RCV or whatever text you are passing in has been typed, right? Then similarly, if you go further, we see the next one, right? Before and after, you'll see the last name okay so you can go ahead and time travel and see what exactly how things were in each every in each and every step right so at the last step you'll see that we are in the click highlighted here right and then afterwards you will see that it has basically you know clicked and then submitted the form and a new page loaded right and it has basically taken that screenshot as well so we do not have to worry about any of the screenshot taking capabilities libraries external libraries to basically go ahead take screenshot so that is the whole kind of holistic framework that comes out of the box that you can go ahead and straight away start using right and this becomes really really easy even at this playground or the selectors playground it was uh, should have been more effective i believe but then in case that doesn't work and that's the whole point i'm teaching the whole concept right because relying on tools is okay but then you need to know how tools exactly work right so otherwise it will be a big sort of problem okay so that's all for this particular first script of registration i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching